Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the Inca here in EU4 Common Sense version 1.13 beta. We are colonizing as fast as we can. We are westernized Inca. The new world is interesting. The, the land of Holland actually got a ton of Mexico, and he's doing okay with that. Uh, Spain has colonized only the eastern part of America. Britain has colonized only Canada. And Portugal has colonized the entire Caribbean. For whatever reason, the other Europeans left him alone. He got all of the Caribbean except for one island. Whereas France has focused on South America, uh, Portugal was able to get a lot of Brazil, Mexico, some of North America. He's got a Louisiana colony going. And both Portugal and Spain have... Oh, even Holland. Both Portugal, Spain, and now Holland have rounded Africa and are free to colonize in Asia. They can have it. I don't give a crap. Not one crap was given. Let them have it. Austria and France are teaming, teaming up to fight a coalition war. They're kicking ass. They're at plus 50 war score already. Probably all from battles. And Europe is just a disgusting mess. I absolutely love this Europe. It is horrible. Anyway, back to the land of colonizing. We're going as fast as we can. And someone mentioned that the next Diplotech gives us extra colonists. You are correct, sir. However, the next colonial, the next exploration idea gives us an extra colonist, which means we save a lot of money, which I think means we can get one more colony going at the same time. Uh, ten more colonists per year, or an extra colonist. I'll take the extra colonist. Lose prestige or fight some rebels. You know what? Fuck it. I don't want to I don't want to lose the prestige. I'm going to fight the rebels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I could send an army on the quest for the Seven Cities. We should do that just for funsies. Fuck you. Alright, go find the Seven Cities, dude. You cannot hunt for the Seven Cities if your capital is located in the Colonial Region. Okay, never mind. So we can't do it. What? Why? Why can't we do it? Wow, that's that's pretty crappy there, Paradox. Mm-hmm. It's pretty crappy. Right there. That right there, that that's pretty crappy. Oh well. So where's France colonizing? I see this colony, but I don't see any other one. Surely he has more than one colony going. But that's the only one I see. I, he's got nothing going up here. There's nothing down in Patagonia. Just that thing right there. Hmm. Montevideo is converting. All right, we've converted both Pombu and Jero, Jeremabo to the one true religion of Inti. Fantastic. All right, let's start repaying some of these loans. What's the smallest one? 365. Ugh, expensive. All right, when this colony finishes, we're just gonna stick with four colonies instead of five, just for a little bit so that we can repay our damn loan. We got three loans. It's like a thousand something ducats. Too expensive, man. Just too expensive. All because of an event. Oh, coalition against Pasai. Yeah, Pasai's doing quite well. Looks like he owns everything that Ayat Haya used to own. That is a big Pasai. Hey, hey, colony done. Okay. So core that. And now we are going to... We might as well go join that army. And now we are going to finish up this colony. Oh, we already have one there. Finish up this colony. There we go. Oh, we found coffee in Ciara. Nice. So with only four colonies, we're making 24 ducats profit per month, which means we can repay these loans in no time flat. Let's do that.
All right. Autonomy change. Nice. Botan became vassals of Iraq. Really? What? Botan has peacefully vassalized to Iraq. I interesting. I did not expect that. All right, relations go. Wow, Britain really likes us. If only we could ally them, but there's a distance between borders penalty, which doesn't allow us to ally them. I'm just too far away, apparently. All right, Diplotech. Yeah, but I really want the idea. Give me the damn idea. Give me the damn idea. I need it. I need this shit. Rio Grande is almost done. Start grabbing these things. Come on, finish. Oh, 999. Oh, whatever. That means we can take them out this turn because next month it's guaranteed to finish. Let's head over here. There we go. And I think we will go get Nazca. It's not that we need it, but it could be another gold province, and that would just really make my day. Okay, colonist arrived, very good. Steal him. And go finish Ciara. There we go. Colonist number three. Oh yeah. What are you gonna do with colonist number three? I guess we'll send him to Paranaiba. Actually, how does that affect our income? 34 ducats. You know, I think we will just go for another colony then. Yeah. God, that sucks that we can't search for the seven cities. I want to search for the seven. Oh, Tech 16. Tech 16. New cannons. Oh, I wanted to search for the seven cities, man. Come on, man. Looks like France is going south. That's fine. You go south all you want, bro. You go south all you want, bro. Bro. Dude, man, bro. Dude, man, bro. Hmm. Yep, yeah, sure. Top off Spain. Who else can we top off? Portugal? Sure. Why not? So we got one more loan to repay. 395 ducats. Oh, expensive. But it's almost repaid. Yeah, that extra colonist is just making a massive difference in our economy. France has a Regency. Lovely. All right, we finished our colony of Kamana. Go grab Nazca. And as soon as you arrive there, we're going to scoot someone over here to Belém. There we go. Steal him.
All right, they only need one more province to fully block off France from South America. This is great. I do need to make sure no one grabs Santa Catarina, but eh, we'll get that next. All right, can we repay the loan yet? Next month? Next month. There we go. God. Okay, all of our loans are repaid. Good. Crimea will cede Kaffa and Matrika to Theodoro. Crimea will give 10% of their war reps. Okay. So Theodoro just fucked up Crimea. That's fun. And it looks like Ottomans are beating up Poland again. Yep. Go, go, Ottoman power. All right, so the next thing, after we get this one, Para, then the next thing is to cut off Portuguese Brazil. And then we can just do the rest of this at a nice, slow, leisurely, leisurely pace. In fact, once we've cut off Brazil, I think we're just going to go straight down the coast. Yeah, Theodore was strong. No shit. No shit. Land maintenance minus 10%. Thank you very much. And we also get national manpower plus 10 and discipline plus 2.5. That is nice. 10% more manpower. Very cool. End of the month, probably. Debased currency. Oh, goody! Inflation! Just what I wanted! Yeah, manpower cap is now 43,000. Good. Oh, this inflation. Festival of water. Gain stability. Without rivers and streams of life in the Andes would be much harder. Without rivers and streams, comma, life in the Andes would be much harder, and the spirits that animate the running water are certainly worth our appreciation. The time has come for the festival of Purapukyo. The strong stream of the Andes are ready to receive our gifts. Okay. Uh, sacrifice of beer, or I think I want to gain the stability here. Oh. We'll do the admin. Yay, stability. 75 points for stability is really good for us because we have we have two modifiers which make stability cost extra. We have divination and integration of Chumu customs. That gives us 15% extra cost on stability, just always. So getting a free one or getting one for 75 is really worth it. Nothing wrong with sacrificing a llama. Come on now. Don't go soft on me, Twitch chat. Don't go soft on me. That's what she said. All right, just get relations up with whomever. Austria has been re-elected emperor again. All right, so France is focusing in the south. That's good for us. It means he's not going to go get Para. Well, most likely he's not going to go get Para. Still making seven ducats a month, even with six colonies going. I like that. We're over our limit by three, and we're still making bank. I don't like how much inflation we have, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do?
Ottomans took Trebizond from Theodoro. Oh, Theodoro did own Trebizond. Theodoro had a core on Trebizond. Okay. And the Ottomans just took it. They took it. They snatched it up. Poland's at tech 17. France is also tech 17. So they're, everyone's ahead of us by one tech. Except Britain. Britain's not ahead of us at all. Interesting. So we've caught up on military tech. That feels good, man. We're not even focusing military. We're focusing admin. So it's good to catch up on military tech while we're focusing something else. Feels good, man. Found some chocolate. Mmm. All right, next up is Orinoco Delta. Seven hundred thirty nine. I just want to get Para before France does. I'll feel a lot safer then. Otherwise, if he starts Para, we can finish up Belem and then go south. That will block him as well. Our colony has been struck by Roman fever. All right. It's just one of one of the six. Doesn't matter that much. And do we want to lower inflation? Yeah, we gotta. Oh, God, that hurts. I hate doing that. We have discovered Timon. Really? Where's, where's Pumbaa? Oh, well, if this is Timon, this is Pumbaa. Not Paranaiba. Oh, I can't change it until we've finished it. Damn. Yeah, Roman fever in South America, exactly. Because we know all about the Romans. When when we notice when we notice a disease for the first time, we think of the Romans. That's what comes to mind. The Inca are excellent historians on the Roman Empire. You should look them up sometime. Ooh, look at Portuguese Louisiana. They're getting big. Come on, finish it. Arr. Oh, I forgot to cancel my mission. Damn it. I want one of the missions for colonial enthusiasm. I totally forgot. It's been four years that I forgot about it. That's awful. I am bad at this game. And I canceled the mission that was almost done. The mission was to finish this colony, which is almost done. I should have just finished the damn mission while we were here. But I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. Finish it. There we go. And that is the northern coast completely blocked off. Good. God, look how cheap Diplotech is. Diplotech costs us 262. Wow. That is cheap, Diplotech. Alright, colonize Benguela. Where the fuck is Benguela? 
That doesn't sound like South America. Okay, that's not South America. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. Just for funsies. But we're not going to keep a colonist there. No siree, Bob. To Benguela. Border friction. Piss off France. Ah, it's always good to piss off France. Military theory. Gain 50 military points. Can we tech up? you goddamn right we can tech up. Tech 17, baby. Mm-hmm. And the last economic idea... Production efficiency plus 10 and 20% cheaper development cost. So we're gonna have we're gonna have 30% cheaper development cost in our entire nation. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Come on, hurry up, get a Benguela. Get a Benguela. Oh, I wonder if we can protect her at Congo. I wonder if we can protect her at Congo and take all of his money. Did I say money? I meant land. Winnebago? Oh my god, we're still not arrived. Are you kidding me? It takes so long to get there. Uh, six rebels in Papayan. Or 25 autonomy in Rio de la Plata. I'd rather get the six rebels. Where are they? Papayan. Papayan. Where the fuck is Papayan? I'm going to have to type it in. Aren't... Oh, I know where that is. It's over here. No, that's Pombu. Okay, I'll type it in. I mean, there's no go-to button for some reason. Oh, it's Popayan. There. Okay. Can we get there? Whatever, we'll get there eventually. We need to start recruiting a bigger army. Alright, we've arrived at Benguela. Do you want to be my protectorate? Huh? No, why not? Negative 3,000. They're, they're not advanced enough to create... Oh, no, 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 no. Establish protectorate. There we go. They don't like us. But they will. If we leave this colony here for a little while, they will like us. Uh, I could send them a gift. I'll send them a gift. Ah, uh, be expensive gifts. But free land... You know what? You, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need this shit. Why am I even trying to protect her at Congo? Fuck it. I don't need to protect her at Congo. It's fun. It would be hilarious. But we don't need to do that. We don't need Congolese land, do we? No. 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 Just, that's a foolish idea, Shen. No. No. Okay, so we finished our mission. That gives us colonial enthusiasm for the next 10 years. What's the next mission? Rival of rival Ottomans. We can do that, right? We've done it before. Plus 47. Yeah, let's do it. That gives us uh, 25 Diplo points. I am down for that. Anytime you can get 25 Diplo points, I want it. Also, it looks like Hungary is getting destroyed. Uh, what is this about? This is the Muscovite Crusade against Sabir. So Muscovy invades Siberia, and that makes the Ottomans invade Hungary. All right. All right. Yeah, sure. Sure. Sounds about right. Come on, you little blue ball of blueness. You're almost there. You can make it. You're almost there. 
Right there. To go to Papayan. Oh, our conquistador died. Uh, get a new one. Wow, that's pretty bad. We're almost there. Oh, wow, this pop-up is staying forever. Yes, we made it. Thank you for staying around, pop-up. That worked out. Excellent. There we go. Global Empire. And we have finished the exploration idea group. So what do we get between exploration and economic? What becomes available? What policy? Global tariffs. That's pretty useless. <laughs> That's a pretty useless policy, I'll be honest. So what's the next idea group that we want? We have one group available. It would make sense to go for a military idea group because we are catching up on military tech pretty quickly. The other two are lagging behind, but military tech, we're almost there. So I think we should take a military idea group next. What do you guys think? Quantity maybe? Or defensive for that 15% morale bonus? Defense is pretty good. Quantity would just give us a much bigger army though. Eh, I like quantity. What do you guys think? I'm thinking quantity. Defensive gives us that 15% morale bonus, which is just massive. That's almost as much as France gets just by being France. France gets 20%. Yeah. Twitch chat says quantity. I agree. I concur. Do you concur? I concur. Shit. Shit. I heard that. Lendilium, thanks for resubbing, man. Welcome back. Naval ideas. No, we're not doing naval ideas. France is getting really aggressive here. La Plata has 24% liberty desire. I wonder if we can get him higher on, on desire for liberty. Why did this not get handed over? Is this a different colonial region? No way. This is all La Plata. Why did this not get handed over? Oh, because it's not done. I don't know why I thought it was done. France declared war. Well, there you go. All right. I should probably dock up my trade ships. And I might as well siege some of this shit while I'm here. He's got a fort in KN. A level 2 fort, nonetheless. So no transports. No transports. No tra This is just all trade. Alright, group up. Let's go burn his colonies. How many troops does, do these guys have? A lot. A lot, a lot. Not that many transports, though. You know what? I think we'll be okay. He can only bring 19 guys at once. That's... I mean, it's a lot, but it's not the end of the world. Do I really need this guy here? Probably not. All right, let's group up. And let's go down here. Turn the forts on. And... Ah, uh, these guys are all busy. I can't take these guys away. Hmm. I think we just build new ones. What do we need? We need lots of cannons. Okay. Give me ten of those. And a couple cavalry. Oh, we're way under our force limit. Okay, what else can we take? Well, that's probably a good start. Let's go with that for now, and we'll probably get some mercenaries to uh, help it out during the war, because we have the economy for mercenaries for sure. All right, but that's going to have to do 
that's gonna have to wait till next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, cliffhanger there. France has declared another war. This time it's on a more even playing field because we're caught up on tech. He is ahead of us. No, he's not ahead of us. We have the same tech. So only, the only difference between French units and my units is he gets 20% morale bonus. And I'm pretty sure 1624 Western units are way better than South American units. And yes, we never actually get Western units. We still use South American units. We get reformed American musketeers. So we have a 2-2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two as our main army. And his army is probably like a 3-3-3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. It's, it's, it's better by a few pips. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.